this lemon thing mint is amazing totally 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 suggested <laughs> ciao <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Nine Pyramids Lounge. It was a very interesting trip to come here. We passed through the pyramids and this one is the fanciest place where to have a breakfast here in Cairo, Egypt. We have with us Sheriff Anastasia, Sheriff's father. <laughs> and uh, this breakfast is special because it's in front of the pyramids and my voice is not special today, but uh, the thing is, you need to book it with weeks in advance. If you're coming to Egypt from abroad, it's better if you book it with months in advance. And now you will see why. Shakran. If you're able to read in Arabic, you read from behind, and therefore you open the book in this way, the menu. Shakran. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> but, it, but if you read it in English, it's from the left. <laughs> so there is an Egyptian breakfast and Western breakfast. Of course, we're going with Egyptian. I mean, there is no other option. <laughs> you have breakfast at this table. Then, if you want to relax, they do have these sofas. Of course, they do have this incredible view that we are going to explore in a moment. And uh, just after the breakfast, you can relax over here. Remember guys, if you want to come to this place, uh, you need to book it with weeks in advance, if not months. Now it's not high season because of COVID, so there is lots of space. They do call it the Nine Pyramids Lounge because there are supposed to be nine pyramids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe these two broken, eight and nine. I'm not sure. I'm not a pyramid expert, but this is probably the best view ever. Unbelievable. Anastasia is joining me, Sheriff too. We're going to check how they do make a fresh bread Aesh Baladi. <laughs> Aesh Baladi. Oh my god. Baladi is a woman from the villages. Yes. So the one doing it. You can see she's the yeah, one yeah, yeah. there. That looks like one is with friend. Oh wow. Very nice. Wow. Shakran. Bali, you know? You want to do this, sir? Me? Uh, <laughs> Finally, we I found a job for you, Anastasia. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna make a bar over. <laughs> so you will learn how to make it for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> you wanna do it? <laughs> Ta it's time to practice. Come on. <laughs> Sheriff, you will be happy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very nice. nice. You can take this for you. Let's take it to the table like ah, you can eat it. Shukran, shukran. Oh, it's all oh, hot. Wow. Very hot. Yeah, I don't want to touch it now. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. Shukran. Shukran. We are about to proceed with the usual photo shoot. Uh, for the couple over here. Can you come a bit more in front to avoid the shadow? Okay, perfect. <laughs> Anastasia made it. <laughs> Anastasia made this one? That's the yeah. Mm. yeah, I made it. Take it with you. Not it. Sure, Falafel. Mm. Eggs. This is tahini. This is uh, mesh, very spicy. And this is white cheese. What, uh, what's actually, tahini exactly? Is, is, tahina. A, is a very specific sauce. It's Egyptian or Arabic in general, but it's very known in uh, in Egypt. Okay, okay. done from season. yeah, made from season. And uh, soon we'll get a pie, like uh, it's called fatir, we shelt it. 
and it uh, goes well with uh, with black honey and white honey. He will bring honey as well, Perfect. so you will experience the proper Egyptian breakfast, yeah. kind of. Proper Egyptian breakfast in front of the pyramids. <laughs> wow. So, what are we getting now? Sabadins. Sab Sabadin? No. We call it full in Egyptian. Full. Beans. 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 Mm -hmm. So we're getting beans. And two different soups of beans? Or? This is with tomato and this is with tahini. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we got some pie and we got black honey and uh, light honey. Yeah. <laughs> Normal honey. And the pyramids, of course. <laughs> and people oh, put nice. falafel inside the tahini usually. This is a proper falafel sandwich. Proper? Proper falafel sandwich. My Maybe goodness. we are missing one tomato, but it can work like that as well. Oh, of course, of course <laughs> it can. Amazing. So we put some falafel inside the tahini. And we try it out. I love Egyptian food in general. It's crazy. No. Because of Sheriff, guys, I got uh, five kilos <laughs> in two weeks. Mom, understand it's Sheriff's <laughs> fault, not my fault. I got five kilos in one month <laughs> during my visit. <laughs> okay. After cleaning half of the table, we have to clean up the table of the pie, the table, the plate of the pie. It's called the Fetir Michelted and it, they bring you dark honey and light honey. Yeah. Unfortunately, we found out in a previous video that I'm not a fan of dark honey. <laughs> so we go light. And we love to take it with tahini as well. Tahini together with dark honey. Yeah. With this Michelted. Wow. It's very known in Egypt, yeah. And then this is a crazy mix. But <laughs> I'm gonna still uh, go for the light, the light one. one yeah. <laughs> Here we do have the mix, fetir mix. and... Uh, no, no, black black honey with tahina. Black, black honey, tahina and Together. fetir. And the fetir. Let's see, do you love it? Yes, <laughs> it will be very fantastic. Yes. Let, let's see, let's see. Have a bite, have a bite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good, huh? Perfect spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You tip it the top of the pyramid inside the honey. <laughs> oh oh. Mm. After this huge breakfast, we're gonna take a moment to chill out here. What is funny is that Anastasia is having the first day at her job here, connected from this office. Working from remote is amazing. I just change into shorts just in case I want to go inside the pyramids and in that case I will need to walk a lot. So I just had a very very refreshing drink. The situation over here is still very beautiful of course it will not change. Hopefully in thousands of years it will still be the same but I want to tell you how you can get over here. Of course you need to book you need to call them in advance, you need to call them weeks in advance to have a place over here. It's a very limited and small but super fancy and beautiful, beautiful place. And the second thing is you need to pay the entrance to the pyramids area, which is about 200 Egyptian pounds. And then to have breakfast over here, to have Egyptian breakfast over here, it's about 175 Egyptian pounds but you need to remember that there is always service charge of 12% and VAT of 14% so taking a full Egyptian breakfast taking a bottle of water we ended up spending more than 900 in four people which is about each probably $25 just to enjoy this view sit over here, relax over there and have some amazing Egyptian food. Experience, which is totally suggested, especially if you are a couple. If you are alone with me, still suggested. Enjoy the pyramids, guys. Hopefully they are going to be here forever, but who knows?